Hi Math Workshop, well, welcome to Tuesday. So today we're still looking at adding numbers to 20, still looking at counting on, still looking at using the number line. We're going to be looking at some word problems and how to solve them as well. Though. So first of all, a little revision part, using the number line. Now if you've got your number line from yesterday, you've got, still got that sheet. So you can actually use that over and over a little bit if you want, or you can do what Mr. Perry did and just write it into your book. So first question. Normally it asks you to we'll choose a number, but I'm going to choose it for you this time. So 12 plus 6 equals. So I'm using counting on. So I don't need to start from 0 and count all the way up to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't need to do it because 12 is always 12. So I can count on from 12. So put my circle around 12 plus 6 more. Okay, so plus 6 more. So I'm at 12. Means I need to do six more jumps. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve plus six equals, that's it, 18. This next one I want you to do by yourself. So you might need to push pause perhaps if you haven't already got the number line, or you might be able to do it pretty quick as well. So, the number is 11 plus five. So think about what are you counting on from, what number do you need to circle, how many jumps you need to do. Push pause, work that out for me, and then push play again. Great. So, I think you guys are pretty smart. I think you probably already got this worked out. So, the number that I need to circle is, that's it, I need to circle 11. I'm going to be jumping on how many more? Yeah, that's it, five more jumps. One, two, three, four, five. And my answer this time is, that's it. 11 plus 5 equals 16. Well done. Give yourself a tick if you got that right as well. Uh, so one tick for starting, so do you counting on for the right number, one tick for the right number of jumps, and one tick for having the right answer as well. Hey, great work. Now this next part is the number before and after. And you're going to be doing that on your sheet today. So we're just going to have a quick little practice on here first. So, I've got the number in the middle, 18. What is the number before 18? What's before 18? You can use your number line to help you if you want, or you might actually just know. That's it. Number before 18 is 17. Excellent. What's the number before 17? Yeah, 16. Number before 16? That's it. 15. Okay, so those are the numbers before. Now we're going after. What is the number after 18? That's it, 19. What's the number after 19? Yeah, 20. And what's the number after 20? Yeah, you got it, 21. So that's our before and after. Just a little bit of practice. You've got this here, should be pretty quick. This one here is a little bit trickier. And this one here, you might need to get someone to help you read some of the questions. But I'm going to go through the first one to help you understand what we're looking at. Now, it says here to get some uh, unifix, some counters, or some craft sticks. You can just use like a bundle of pencils, will be fine. So, first one here. There are three birds sitting on a fence. Three birds sitting on a fence. So, I want to use my six. I've got my three, six. Three birds sitting on a fence. Next one. Four more birds come along. So, you get four more sticks. There we go, three and four. Okay, how many birds all together? That's it, so I just need to add up how many sticks I've got. Good, so then you would write in your on your page, you'd write three plus four equals seven. You already know that this is three, so it's actually three, four, five, six, seven, and that's using the counting on. So not the counting on with the number line, but just counting on. So 3 plus 4 is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. See how that's much quicker than starting from 0? Anyway, work. so get a parent to help you read the questions. You should be able to do the math. Hope you have a great day. See you guys. Bye.